on Saturday, 25th August 2018, Ho Technical University held a grand derby on its campus to mark 50 years of its existence on the theme Consolidating the Gains of Technical and Vocational Education and Training in Ghana, HTU at 50. The President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, was present as the guest of honor. President of the Republic, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, this grand debat is being held to mark the climax of the 50th anniversary celebrations of our university. You are all cordially welcome. On behalf of the Governing Council of Ho Technical University, I have the pleasure to welcome you all, men and women of great repute, as you join us to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Ho Technical University, the Volta region's premier tertiary institution. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in February this year, the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, launched the 50th anniversary celebrations at this same venue. On that day, he reiterated government's commitment to transforming TVET in Ghana. On that day, Honorable Elizabeth Ohini delivered a thought-provoking anniversary keynote address on the theme, Consolidating the Gains of Technical and Vocational Education and Training in Ghana, Ho Technical University at 50. Honorable Elizabeth Ohini made us to realize how all our lives and living are controlled, mediated, and driven by technical and vocational skills and products. On that day, we noticed that the greatest number of jobs that can be created in any country fall within the technical and vocational skills area. It is an honor and my pleasure to welcome the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dodanko Akufado, to the 50th anniversary of the Volta Region's Premier University. <clears throat> you has, I know you are here, but this, this name is by definition. <laughs> and I'm pleased to welcome all of you here in gathered in this auditorium. Those sitting and standing outside, those who are yet trooping into the hall one by one, and everyone who is in the city of Ho, the regional capital today, and has come to celebrate with us this day, you are all most welcome. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers present, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Ho Technical University is now your home. As we move into the years ahead, we ask for your continued support as we aspire to make this institution a model technical university in Ghana and the sub-region. We appreciate your coming to show us solidarity on this day as we celebrate our golden jubilee. God bless Ho Technical University. God bless technical and vocational education and training in Ghana. God bless our homeland, Ghana. Thank you all for your attention and coming. The President and his entourage, good morning to you all. Goodwill message from Ms. Vera Fafa Agbenya, 
the president of the Student Representative Council. The Student Representative Council wishes all Adanunites, especially its constituent compromising students of this country, home and abroad, the best of this celebration as we climax the momentous of the 50th anniversary with merrymaking. In as much as we have every reason to celebrate, we wish to admonish all and sundry to let circumspection and moderation be our guiding principle in whatever we do in order to ensure incident-free incident yaltide. ATU and the country at large need all of us alive, and the very least we could do is to ensure that we ensure actions that might jubilize our lives. Let us use this celebration to reflect on the past years, learn lessons and draw the necessary inspirations where it matters. In other words, we should celebrate with care, use this jubilee year to soberly reflect on the contributions we can make in assuring that HCU and Ghana become a better place for all. The year 2018 has been more fascinating than ever, and we pray that Almighty God continue to overwhelm us with his bountiful blessings and incalculable favors. The SRC once again wishes to assure HCU students and the university community that we are poised to delivering on our core mandate and that the Golden Jubilee Administration shall be the turning point in the annals of student leadership, where we shall witness the absolute restoration of confidence in student leadership. As we celebrate the Golden Jubilee of the university, I wish to use this opportunity to thank all successive leaders of the Student Representative Council who have selflessly contributed to the development of the university. Long live HTU, long live Ghana. Thank you. I want to also congratulate the current Vice Chancellor for the idea of celebrating this milestone and uh, for accomplishing what many other institutions have never accomplished, bringing down from Jubilee House the whole president of the Republic of Ghana. <laughs> Congratulations. I also remember all the others who came after me, in particular, Professor Afung and Professor Jisi, who all contributed to the growth and development of this institution. I only have a message for the young ones, those who are less than 30 years old, because I expect that you will be around for the centenary anniversary of this institution. <laughs> I, I will not be here. <laughs> I will definitely not be here. Uh, so, what I want to say to all of you young ones is that you are the ones who are going to be in positions of leadership in the next couple of years, either as heads of department as deans or even as vice chancellor of this institution. And the message I have for you is one of the paradoxes of life. Wherever you find yourself in a position of leadership or authority, what follows you when you leave is what you leave behind, not what you take away. It's quite paradoxical, but it's true. What follows you is what you leave behind, not what you take away. I'm a living example. I didn't take away the auditorium. I left it, and uh, it's always after me. And uh, so I urge all of you to remember that, 
Don't think about the rewards you will get. Don't think about the cars you will take away. When you leave office, think about what you leave behind because that is what will follow you. Lonely, you will take a university. And for those of you who will come in another 50 years, remember those of us who might have gone. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The Council Chairman, Your Excellency Nana Adodan Kwakufaro, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Ministers of State, Vice Chancellor of this great institution, Members of Parliament, distinguished invited guests. Togbe Mamao, staff, management, and students of Ho Technical University. I bring you greetings from the Abugume Fia of Asogwe State. Togbe Afede the 14th, and the chiefs and people of Asogwe Traditional Council. We are also grateful to past and present governments because without their contribution and support, we wouldn't have been witnessing what we are seeing today. So we are grateful to all who have contributed in one way or the other in making whole technical university what it is today. Nana, we are very grateful to you. We are grateful to all of you, staff, management, and students of this institution. And on the occasion of your 50th anniversary, we wish to convey to you our congratulations. We congratulate you on achieving this great milestone. And we want to assure you of the support of Asogli State and your efforts to transform this great institution into a center of excellence, not only in Ghana, but beyond Ghana. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Ho Technical University is celebrating 50 years. We are also celebrating 25 years as a tertiary institution. We are celebrating 50th anniversary of the existence of the institute, now a university. The theme for our celebration is consolidating the gains of technical and vocational education and training in Ghana. Your Excellency, you agree with me that 50 years in the life of an individual, let alone an organization, is a long period and deserves to be celebrated with sober reflection and introspection, especially reflecting on the toil and sweat of our forebears who worked tirelessly to bring us this far. Your Excellency, the technical university era, it is an era of continuity and change, 2014-2018. I assume the leadership of the university at the time, a very critical period when government decided to transform the polytechnics to technical universities. In fact, the pressure was so intense. My tenure marked the end of the polytechnic era and the commencement of the university dispensation. This period brought in Israel several unexpected opportunities and challenges usually associated with any transitional process in line with earlier modernization agenda set in motion by my forebears in the late 1990s. My administration had ensured a steady but gradual growth in student enrollment, staff capacity building, academic infrastructure renovation and development in the past four years. Your Excellency, I am happy 
to report that the university, on the occasion of its 50th anniversary, has the following academic standing. Five faculties, two schools, one institute, 18 departments, three centers, and 18 academic and non-academic units. We have a total number of workforce, 493, of which 260 are lecturers and 233 non-academic or support staff. The university currently run four Master of Technology degree programs and three Bachelor of Technology degree programs in addition to 23 higher national diploma programs and eight non-tertiary programs. Your Excellency, our problems notwithstanding, the university at 50 is ready and ever committed to pursue our core mandate as a public technical university. It is our promise that we will continue to, to train the required skilled workforce for the industrialization drive and socioeconomic development of our dear country, Ghana. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention and your show of solidarity during our 50th anniversary celebration. God bless the whole technical university. God bless Ghana and make it greater and stronger. Thank you. We have no other person to come and tell you and speak to us about the vision, celebrating your 50 years, and the next 50 years, the direction you should take. Fortunately, uh, I'm also celebrating my 50th year this year. And so, <laughs> so, so, the President, when you are giving 50-year goodies, do remember your Minister of Education here. We have a chance to invite His Excellency the President of the Republic and that other dancer. The chairperson for the occasion. <laughs> the chair of the council. Volta Regional Minister and his deputy. Minister for Education. The Minister for Energy, Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, our former, former Minister for Finance and alumnus of this university, the former Minister of State for Higher Education, Deputy Minister for Information, Member of Parliament for Ho Central, Ho Municipal Chief Executive, members of the Governing Council, Interim Vice-Chancellor and members of the Faculty, Chairperson of Council and Vice-Chancellor of the University of Health and Allied Sciences, Representative of the Asogwe Traditional Council, alumni, students, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. I must at the outset express my gratitude to the Governing Council and Management of Ho Technical University for inviting me to its 50th anniversary celebration. My presence here this morning reminds me of that fateful Friday, 9th November 2020, 2012, when as candidate Akufu Addo, I outlined my vision for the transformation of Ghanaian agriculture here at Ho Technical University, at the time Ho Polytechnic. I'm grateful 
that by the grace of God and the generosity of the Ghanaian people, my second time of coming at this, of speaking at this institution, six years on, is in a different capacity. <laughs> and that is as President of the Republic. So you can imagine, ladies and gentlemen, that today will live long with me. 50 years in the life of any institution is not only a time for celebration, but also a time to pause and reflect on lessons learned over the years, consolidate the gains made, and forge ahead to make the institution better and more relevant. Transitioning from a technical institute at birth to a polytechnic, and now to a technical university, it was the premier tertiary institution in the Volta region, and certainly a force to reckon with in the field of technical education in Ghana. Chairperson, this institution is, only, is not the only school with a long list of must-haves. Government is fully aware of the infrastructural needs of our technical universities. Efforts have been made at supplying demonstration laboratories for engineering students in some of the technical universities, including Ho Technical University by Amatron. The Ministry of Education is taking steps to providing similar laboratories to the rest of the technical universities. I congratulate the management and alumni of the whole Technical University for taking the bold initiative of funding the construction of the entrance gate, appropriately named the Jubilee Gate, which is befitting of the status of the university. This self-help spirit is commendable and worthy of emulation by all Ghanaians. I urge you to, do, to continue to do what you can while government addresses the major infrastructural projects of the university, including the completion of, the, of existing ones. I give you my word that some positive results will be seen before the end of my mandate in 2020. Before I conclude, there is a significant matter I must address, and it relates to the decision taken by the Governing Council of the of Ho Technical University, in accordance with the statutes of the university, to rename this institution after Ephraim Amun the great Ghanaian cultural icon who asserted that the creative faculty should embrace also the capacity to work with one's hands. This decision is an excellent one, which has received the blessing of the President of the Republic, so that once the parliamentary process has been concluded, this university will thereafter be called the Ephraim Amu Technical University. Oh. It is wholly fitting that this great modest man, composer of what easily passes for our unofficial national anthem, Yera Sassinier, should be properly honored by a grateful prosperity, posterity, and especially by citizens of his native Volta region. Ephraim Amu taught us that we do not have to wear a European cut suit to be a scholar. We could wear a fugu, kente, and above all, a locally woven fabric and still be an educated person. He insisted you did not have to eat foreign foods because you were a scholar, and he insisted our music was as interesting and sophisticated as any around the world. Those were radical ideas for his time. I'm sure that you can appreciate what a special moment it will be for me to be the president who will have the privilege to assent to this decision. 
Long may we cherish his memory. <laughs> Chairperson, I wish to assure of government's steadfast commitment to initiate policies and programs in the technical universities, colleges of education, and universities to enhance the capacity of graduates from our tertiary institutions to contribute to the socio-economic transformation of the country. I'm confident Ho Technical University will help deliver the necessary manpower to feed our industrial growth, and in so doing, help make our nation great and strong. I wish you a happy 50th anniversary celebration. May God bless Ho Technical University, and may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. Thank you for your attention. Akwenami. Since 80, you at 50. Congratulations. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. This is very important because we want to take stock of uh, our impact in the university education. Like this time, since we are the implementing arm of the African Union Commission, we are fighting for TVET because it's TVET that drives the economy. So by being here, we have uh, heard that uh, the institution has got a uh, more to do in terms of uh, uh, TVET. And this we should tell all other institutions and uh, technical universities that uh, it's good to follow this direction of TVET. The president touched on very, very key and pertinent aspects of uh, the higher education community, which is TVET. That uh, with TVET, we can drive the economies and he has given examples of these countries, Malaysia, China, and there are many more which he did not mention. But he told us too that he is looking forward to uh, having constructed some 20 TVET institutions by the end of his term. He told us of his commitment too to support TVET in terms of uh, infrastructure. And we held uh, 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 the president, Nanada Danko Akofuado, for such support and uh, you know we realized that it's not the first time he has been here and so we take it seriously that uh, he is going to do the improvements and it's very good for us too as the Association of African Universities to note such commitment from a president of a country. All right so as an alumni our focus is to see this will grow from strength to strength. So the particular pronouncement by the president is the fact that all uncompleted buildings, you know, when you have the infrastructure in place, then you can be sure that you produce qualified, well-educated, and knowledgeable students. And so for us, if we can fast track finishing all the uncompleted buildings, that will be our, our priority. All other things, you know, some are political, but the key thing is that people in Ghana deserve the best, especially if you come to this institution. It's been one of the brilliant schools you have. So, so that is our key, that all projects be completed on time. Yesterday, as an alumni, we have also uh, handed over the refurbishment of the reading room and have bought some few things for the school. And so it is our prayer that that which is said, he should accomplish them and, in, and on time. Uh, by my experience and my studies in uh, this school as electrical engineering student, I think uh, I've been blessed to be here because looking at how teachers, lectures to teach us, they explain things to us, I think uh, it's one of the best institutions. And hearing the people that have completed here and where they are now, I can say it's one of the best technical university in the Volta region. Okay. We see when schools like this, we have a special program like this whereby we are even blessed that the president of the country is with us. Uh, our requests, maybe our needs that problems we face in the school are read to them. He's here to 
support us. And his presence alone tells us that we have a vision that uh, our problems will be solved. And he, over there, a lot has transpired over there. And looking at what he said, we are hoping for the best. And I think that one, this could be one of the best schools in the voter region in the country as well. But he's saying changing the school into uh, renaming it uh, Ephraim Amu Technical University. I think to that, good things will come to the school. And we, the students, will also be grateful for him initiative. Leading here. Yeah, formerly when the school was Polytechnic, uh, and now have been changed to Technical University, and we are still offering our HND. I was hoping that uh, he will do, he will say something like uh, granting Technical University not only here in Ghana that will also benefit that degree. That after we left here, uh, we will not go and do our top up again two years or one and a half year. We will continue with the four years with our degree. And I didn't hear anything of that, but I think based on uh, what I've heard from his speech, something like that will come out at the right time. So that's what I think uh, I was suspecting, but I didn't hear from him. But by the help of God, we think something like that will happen. I am Professor Emmanuel Kojo Sechi, the Interim Vice Chancellor of Ho Technical University. The roadmap is clear. This is captured in Ho Technical University's strategic plan of 2017 to 2022, where TVET, Technical and Vocational Education, emphasis on skills acquisition, is the core mandate to drive our training our professional development programs as well as our practical skills acquisition. Uh, in addition to that, we are emphas uh, 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 em em emphasizing on the bringing of apprenticeship for all level of people into the classroom. Traditional apprenticeship will be adopted and modernized to provide the required skills in the key uh, trades areas. For example, fabrication and welding, carpentry and wood technology, block laying, tiling, automobile, electrical and electronic engineering, dressmaking, cosmetology and beauty culture, among others. All this will form the base of our training programs. All Ghanaians should appreciate the value of technical and vocational education, skills acquisition. We are developing economy and the mainstay of our advancement will remain skills. It is important that we, both parents and students and the, 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 the youth should come to embrace TVET as a way forward, as a way of transforming our educational sector. The, the, the combination of theory and practice should inform our curriculum. Theory is important and practice or the practical hands-on training is equally important to be able to to, to, to prepare a, 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 a well-groomed graduate. A graduate with only theory will have difficulty. The same applies to a graduate with only practicals because the practicals are based on the theoretical orientation of the curriculum. So the, the measure 
of theory and practice should be the way to go when it comes to training of our workforce.